One million dollars. A post. Utter bollocks. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Bollocks. Great word. Used, of course, to describe the male genitalia. But also, it could be used to describe something that's good, the dog's bollocks, or something that you simply don't believe in. What a load of bollocks. Sometimes it can be used to determine the fact that somebody's been told off. He got a right bollocking. But bollocks of itself is an excellent way of conveying disbelief in something, and thus it's used in relation to the suggestion that Harry's wife can command one million dollars a post. More on that in a moment. Bollocks is such a good term for it, and I think in terms of the utterance of this word, the best that has appeared so far has been issued by Tim Piggott Smith when he played Creedy in the 2005 film V for Vendetta. You may recall the moment where V confronts Creedy in the underground, and they are there with the Chancellor, Chancellor Sutler. Creedy says, Defiant to the end, huh? You won't cry like him, will you? You're not afraid of death. You're like me. V responds by stating, The only thing that you and I have in common, Mr. Creedy, is we're both about to die. Creedy, how do you imagine that's going to happen? V, with my hands around your neck. Bollocks. What you going to do, huh? We've swept this place. You've got nothing. Nothing but your bloody knives and your fancy karate gimmicks. We have guns. No, what you have are bullets. And the hope that when your guns are empty, I'm no longer be standing. Because if I am, you'll all be dead before you've reloaded. The arrogance and dismissal of Creedy summed up there with the utterance of bollocks. But there has been this suggestion that Harry's wife is returning to Instagram and that she's somehow going to be able to command a million dollars a pop for her posts, to which we involve Mr. Creedy to say bollocks. Why? Well, bear with me for a moment by way of comparison and let us look at Emma Chamberlain. Who she, you might ask, which of course was my reaction until she was thrust across my bows. But bear with me as I explain, because it'll be well worthwhile. Emma Frances Chamberlain is aged 22 years old, and she's an American internet personality, YouTuber, podcaster, businesswoman, and model. She won the 2018 Streamy Award for Breakout Creator. In 2019, Time magazine included her on its Time 100 Next list, and its list of the 25 most influential people on the internet, writing that Chamberlain pioneered an approach to vlogging that shook up YouTube's unofficial style guide. In April 2019, she launched her first weekly podcast, Anything Goes, formerly known as Stupid Genius. She subsequently won the award for Best Podcaster at the 12th Shorty Awards. Importantly, this is worth noting, she's also been an ambassador for Louis Vuitton since 2019 and Cartier since 2022. She is seen as one of the most successful Instagrammers and YouTubers. In July 2023, her YouTube channel reached 12 million subscribers and gained a total of 1.6 billion video views. She has got a lot of followers on Instagram. In fact, she has some 16 million followers, dwarfing the hundred or so thousand that Harry's wife purportedly has at this juncture. She creates all of her own content. So whilst... It 
and I've never watched anything of hers, and I suspect it's not really going to be my kind of thang. But nevertheless, she's built her own image and has done rather well out of it, so good for her. Taylor Lorenz of The Atlantic wrote that Chamberlain was the most talked about influencer in the world. In 2019, Jonah Bromwich of the New York Times wrote that Chamberlain was the funniest person on YouTube and that she invented the way people talk on YouTube now, particularly the way they communicate authenticity. In May 2022, she attended the Met Gala as a video host for Vogue. During the interview, she spoke with many prominent celebrities. Accordingly, although I'd never heard of her, there's certainly a demographic that is very familiar with her, that she's very successful, has created lots of videos which many people engage with, and as a consequence of that, she has considerable influence, having millions of followers. Also, she's got a finger on the pulse when it comes to young people, and, as mentioned, she's an ambassador for Louis Vuitton and Cartier. So, what's all of this got to do with Harry's wife? Well, I'll tell you. The estimated cost for placement on Instagram for Emma Chamberlain, with her 16 million followers and stellar write-ups of those that I've described, along with her brand ambassadorships, is that she charges US dollars for an Instagram story, US dollars for an image post, and US dollars for a video post. Hmm. Not even US dollars. So, riddle me this. How on earth will Harry's wife, who hasn't got anywhere near as many followers, hasn't got the reach on social media that Emma Chamberlain has, how is she going to charge some 12 times as much as Emma, Char Emma Chamberlain in circumstances where she doesn't have the same reach? Now, arguably, Harry's wife is better known than Emma Chamberlain. After all, I know about Harry's wife, and I hadn't heard of Emma Chamberlain until somebody had mentioned her to me. But within the actual reach on Instagram, hers is dwarfing that of Harry's wife. Harry's wife's may well increase as time goes on, admittedly so. But how is she going to get to a million dollars a post off the back of 100,000 followers? when Emma Chamberlain, with 16 million, only charges $77,000 or thereabouts for a video post. It seems to suggest, of course, that this is once again the exaggeration that Harry's wife goes in for, that she has attempted through various individuals to manifest such, min such massive payments by putting it out there that that's what she should be able to get therefore start paying it to her, that people will think, my goodness me, she's really going to have such a tremendous reach, isn't she? She's really going to be in demand. we better snap her up and start paying her a million bucks per post. But what are you buying? You're not getting the same reach as that that Emma Chamberlain has. On what I've read, Harry's wife is nowhere near as amusing or entertaining she hasn't produced any content yet. And whilst her name is well known, you can't reach people on social media by name alone. You have to have them following you. And therefore, if somebody's going to be spending a million dollars a post, based upon what Emma Chamberlain charges, you would expect them to have something like 250 million followers. And Harry's wife is a long, long way from that. Accordingly, the suggestion that she can command a million dollars per post seems to me to be utter bollocks. And it's just another example of her attempting to cause it to happen by talking about it first. Such is her level of entitlement. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.